Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services, the video on monthly policy review, also known as MPR, and I'll be discussing MPR for the month of April 2023. MPR is a policy, is basically an initiative of PRS, that is PRS Legislative Research. And if you want to read more about PRS, you can refer to the section. It was founded in 2005. It aims to help and support member of parliament and the member of legislative assemblies at think tank which is based in Delhi, right? Now, if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this content, if you find this video informative and helpful, do press a like button. So before I start this session, uh, basically talking about the MPR, that is the monthly policy review. It's an important discussion. It's also helped in the general studies paper and specifically in mains, and it will also contribute in the part of the prelims examination. So starting with the first topic of discussion is the National Medical Device Policy 2023. Now recently, the cabinet has approved the National Medical Device Policy 2023. And as per the Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940, jitni bhi medical devices hai, that include devices used in treatment, diagnostics and prevention are categorically mentioned in the Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. Now, this policy, which is recently approved by the government, set goals for India to achieve 10 to 12 percent of the global market devices, right? Increasing the size of the sector from 1 billion US dollar to 50 billion US dollar by 2030. This target is very important. There can be a direct question in the prelims and even if you use this as a folder point in the mains examination, right? And the frame has been accordingly you know, outlined by the government of India. Now, some of the key features of this bill, the policy. First is investment. Private investment in the sector will be through the schemes such as Make in India. This is one of the important schemes. Second is Ayushman Bharat. And third is Startup Mission, where government endeavor to flourish the part of investment through entrepreneurship in the country. Now, second important aspect is regulatory streamlining. That will include measures such as single window clearances license. Before that, there was multiple clearance system that is there. Now, government has come up with single window clearance, which is very important for the sector of the medical devices and reversing the price regulations. Now, in infrastructure, the policy proposes to establish and strengthen the industrial park, which developed and produced medical devices. And this will receive the logistical connectivity and support under the national logistic policy. So this is also a new policy in terms of logistic. So that will be supplemented by this policy so that it is aiding in the further development of the medical sector or the medical device sectors. Now, entrepreneurship is another important component. Is pure policies may aim ki gayi that implementations of the course in the educational institution focusing on the development of medical devices will also be there. And brand posting and awareness is again an important part. India make nodal body that is export promotional, which is under the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer, will be conducting the studies for the best practices, manufacturing and skill development. Right now, the other part is human resource development. The policy proposes to increase the strength of the skilled workforce in the sector through involvement of Ministry of the Skill Development. So these are the all important significant key features of the National Medical Device Policy, which was recently passed by the Union government. Now, the other important news that is the National Quantum Mission, something again very important, directly relevant for both prelims as well as for the mains examination. So recently, the government has approved the National Quantum Mission to nurture and scale up scientific and industrial research in the development of quantum technology. These are the technology that is you know, uh, even the future of the technological aspect and a lot of horizon will be increased with the advancement of the quantum technology. It, India will be seventh country comparative to other global order where the quantum mission has already been there. So before India, some countries like United States of America, Austria, Finland, France, Canada, and China have made it through and India is the seventh country. Now, national quantum missions, this is under the Department of Science and Technology, which has put up the proposal for the quantum mission way back in 2018. 
और क्वेस्ट नाम की इनिशिएटिव है दैट इज क्वांटम इनेबल्ड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दैट फॉल अंडर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंटर डिस्प्लिनरी साइबर फिजिकल सिस्टम डिविजन ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेसिफिकली कन्फाइनिंग टू दैट एरिया Now in 2019, the mission first uh, like of the Quest program was held in the International Institute of Information Technology at Hyderabad, and in the Union Budget 2022, the Finance Minister targeted an investment of 8,000 crore rupees in the next year of the National Mission on Quantum Technology and Quest program. So these are the kind of background that you can relate with the part of the development that has took place recently. Now, aim kya hai is national quantum mission ki. So it will accelerate the quantum technology, led economic growth, and nurture the ecosystem in the country. This is like bit obvious. The government is coming up with the further development that will inevitably will be contributing in the part of the nation development and the economical development. It will also develop the magnetometer with the high sensitivity and the economic system. Atomic clocks hongi, jahan pe precision time mein communications or navigations ko enhance ki jayegi. It will also support the design and synthesis of the quantum material, which important materials. Ki baat kare like superconductor is among one of them. Superconductor, other part is the noble semiconductor structure, topological material, fabrications, and the quantum devices. Now, how the mission is going to benefit India? Definitely, it will benefit India. The mission will help to develop the magnetometer with high sensitivity, economic. एटोमिक सिस्टम एटोमिक क्लॉक प्रसिशन टाइमिंग कम्युनिकेशन एंड नेविगेशन उसके अलावा इस मिशन में बेनिफिट होंगी कम्युनिकेशन को हेल्थ फिनेंशियल एनर्जी फिनेंशियल एंड एनर्जी सेक्टर ड्रग डिजाइन एंड स्पेस एप्लीकेशन इट विल प्रोवाइड ह्यूज बूस्ट टू द नेशनल प्रियोरिटी लाइक डिजिटल इंडिया मेक इन इंडिया स्टार्टअप इंडिया स्टैंड अप इंडिया एंड द सेल्फ रिलायंस सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स दीज आर द पार्ट दैट विल बी Uh, no something that india would be exactly benefited from the mission now indian space policy 2023 again very important where the milestone has been set uh, via the indian space policy the union cabinet has approved the space policy in 2023 the policy is expected to provide framework in the space sector in india over the next decade so down the line 10 years we'll see the transformation of the sector via this policy in the department of space shall oversees the implementation of the policy as a nodal department so this is again uh, directly relevant factually important for your prelims examination some key features of this bill of the policy first is regulation to national the indian national space program and authorization center this is in space ke naam se bhi jana jata is a function uh, is as an autonomous government organization as mandated to promote hand hold guide authorize the space activities and this will be a single window agency that will be authorizing that space activities by the government and non government entities so it's a powerful body it's a apex body that will be looking into the part of regulation now authorizations ki agar baat kare authorizations can be there accorded by in space usme kuch important aspects included hongi that include the establishment and operation of the space object launch and operations of the space vehicles establishment and operations of the launch pad and planned reentry of the space object without or with recovery now non government entity is also the important feature in this the entity will be able to undertake end to end activities in the space sector establishing the operation jaise ki space object ground based assets uske alawa related services such as communication is among one second is remote sensing and third is navigation right so these are the part where non government entity would also be allowed focus on research that is very important if you see the part of research and development that is very important for a country like india and isro is a body that will be focusing on the part of the research and development on the new space technology and applications right uske alawa technologies products processes best practices and non government entities will be taken into consideration and isro will demonstrate the human space traffic capabilities developing the road map of sustained human presence in this space now competition amendment bill 2022 so the competition amendment bill was passed by the parliament the bill seeks to amend the competition act of 2002 the act establishes the competition commission of india for the regulation of competitive market now some of the key features 
is the regulation of combinations based transition value. So this act ke through it will prohibit any person or enterprises by entering into the combination and can cause the appreciable adverse impact on the competitions. Combinations ke agar baat kare, this will include merger, acquisition, amalgamations and enterprises and the prohibitions will apply in the transitions part of that is involved in the cumulative assets of more than 1000 crore rupees or a cumulative turnover of more than 3000 crore rupees subject to certain condition. These amount are not important but to just get an idea because UPSC tend to ask sometimes figure also. So you have basic idea of what numbers are, it is not more than that or not less than that so that it will also help you to eliminate the answer or statement in the prelims examination. So you should take a caution of this. And the second important part is the time limit for the approval of combinations. If we talk about specific details, ki, it is specified that any combination shall not come into effect until the Competition Commission of India, that is CCI, passed an order or 210 days and have passed from the day when the applications was approved, whichever is earlier. So these will be taken into consideration and bill ne is time limit ko reduce karke 150 kiya tha, right? So the limit in the later case to 150. Anti-competitive agreement under the act, anti-competitive agreement include any agreement relates to production, supply, storage, control of goods and services that can cause Appreciable adverse on the Competition Commission of India or agreement Jogi where enterprises or a person engaged in identical or similar businesses will have an adverse impact on the competitions to meet certain criteria. These include directly or indirectly determining the purchase and sale prices. Those are controlling the production, supply, market and provision of the schemes or the services or directly or indirectly leading to the collusive building right so anti-competitive agreement ko kaise, you know basically the part where healthy competition is being promoted will be taken into consideration now other news that is amendment to Aadhaar authentications for good governance 2020 we'll see the details the ministry of electronics and information technology has released the draft amendment to Aadhaar authentication of good governance social welfare innovations rule 2020 and certain entities can apply it seeking permissions to use Aadhaar or notifications for specific purposes such as good governance and service delivery. For rules notified ki gai hai under the Aadhaar target delivery of financial and other subsidies benefit under 2016 Act. It provides for good governance and targeted delivery of such subsidies. Some key features will include Aadhaar authentication purposes rules can the central government ne allow kya hai Aadhaar authentications for the entity you know on certain specified purpose such as used for digital media platform for good governance enabling for the innovations and spread of knowledges and even preventing the part of dissipations of the social welfare benefits requesting entities can the Aadhaar act can the jo requesting entities hongi any person or any individual may be allowed to perform the authentications right so Ministry and accordingly, uh, like department ko bhi permit ke, that the Aadhaar notifications for specific purposes can be sent. And the central government referred this proposal to the unique authority of India that is that is taking care for the part of the Aadhaar regulations. And the amendment at the ministry or department belonging to center or the state government. And this also add the entity that the ministry of department can submit proposal using Aadhaar authentications for a specified purpose in the interest of the state. Now the other news that is Coastal Agriculture Authority Amendment Bill 2023. Now this is a bill uh, which was introduced in Lok Sabha and amends the Coastal Aquaculture Authority 2005. For this act through jo aquaculture hai, Coastal Aquaculture Authority for regulation of the cost agriculture will refer to rear and cultivation of the fish under the controlled conditions. Now what are the key features? Among first is the regulation of allied cost aquaculture activities. The act regulate the coastal aquaculture farm, which will carry out the activities such as clearing of uh, the culturing of shrimps, prawns and other aquatic under the control condition in the saline and the barkish water. Right? Or AC bill ke through new facilities will be added where engagement in the coastal aquaculture and any elite activities will be regulated as per the coastal aquaculture unit. Right. 
and even the elite activities include the nuclear breeding centers, hatcheries, brook stocks, multiple centers, and farm. Right? The bill provides the registrations and regulation of such unit. Some elite activities that is allowed. First, uh, no, that is allowed in certain protected area, but बहुत सारी चीजों को prohibit भी रखी गई है. So the act prohibit. Uh, within 200 meters on the high tide and in the creek rivers backwater rivers coastal regulation under the environmental protection act of 1986 aur kya kya cheeze less these are not allowed is the coastal aquacultures which exist in such area as on february 1991 and not commercial experiment farm operated by the government research institutes the bill also replaced the prohibition regulation agriculture or aquaculture part that is ecological sensitive area in the geomorphological features such as mountain valleys and volcanoes non development zones in the sea and the buffer zone in the creek river and backwater and the creek rivers and backwater within the coastal zone regulations allied activities provide certain exemptions that is hatcheries nuclear nucleus breeding brook stock multiplication center that will be allowed for the non development and seaweed culture pen culture raft culture and the range activities will be allowed in the coastal zone regulations now the draft electricity amendment bill 2023 the ministry of power has invited comments on the draft electricity amendment bill the draft rule regulates certain amendment to part of the electricity 2005 which issues under the electricity act of 2003 key features ki agar baat kare फ्रेमवर्क एंड द फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट तो स्टेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी रेगुलेटरी कमीशन है जिसे सी ई आर सी भी कहते हैं एस ई आर सी दैट विल डिटरमाइन द लॉस रिडक्शन ट्रेजेक्ट्री ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइसेंस एंड डिटरमाइनिंग टेरिफ एंड द द रूल ड्राफ्ट ऑल्सो एट टू थर्ड ऑफ द एनी एडिशनल गेन फ्रॉम द डेविएशन दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ ए एन टी लॉस रिडक्शन स्ट्रैटेजी विल बी पास ऑन टू द कंज्यूमर एंड द रेस्ट विल बी रिटेन बाय द लाइसेंस और इस ड्राफ्ट रूल के थ्रू ये रिक्वायर की जाएगी जो स्टेट कमीशन है टू कंसिडर ऑल द प्रूडेंट कॉस्ट पावर एंड प्रोक्योरमेंट वाइल डिटरमाइनिंग द टेरफ द कॉस्ट इनकर टूवर्ड्स द एसेट क्रिएशन फॉर द डेवलपमेंट एंड मेंटेनेंस एंड रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम विल बी पास टू द कंज्यूमर्स सेकेंड इज अकाउंटिंग ऑफ सब्सिडी जितनी भी सब्सिडी दी जा रही है लाइक फॉर द रूल प्रीवियस टू थाउजेंड फाइव द अकाउंटिंग ऑफ द सब्सिडी फॉर द रिटेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वॉज डन बाय द रिडिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग लाइसेंसी नाउ द ड्राफ्ट रूल एट द स्टेट कमीशन विल बी क्वार्टरली रिपोर्टिंग द पार्ट ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइसेंस सो द ऑडिटिंग प्रोसेस हैज बीन मोर रोबस्ट एंड दिस विल प्रोवाइड डिटेल्स ऑफ द सब्सिडी बिल रेज सब्सिडी पास बाय द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड ड्यूज एंड द रिपोर्ट शुड बी प्रिपेयर विद इन फोर्टी from the end of the respective quarters and the state government may also act as a concerned officers on non compliances and even relating to any issues of subsidies and payment so this was all about for the discussion we have other initiatives in our youtube like daily news and editorial analysis which i covered from the hindu and indian express which will give you a complete picture of the news and comprehensive coverage that will help you in the civil services and mini government examination with is gazetted current affair magazine it's a must read for current affairs news in focus in our new initiative where one single topic that is helpful for you will be discussed pib mpr and gist of yojana and kurukshetra are accordingly released in a youtube channel so all this initiative will help you to sail through the journey of civil services other than this if you have any other concerns you can reach out to us we'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video